Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I'm going to go over a Firepower Devastator build that allows you to get over 1.2 million firepower, which will then also allow you to solo Challenge Tier 15 Expeditions with Gold Times. Now, before we get into the video, only 6% of people that watch my videos are subscribed to my channel. So make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with all of my videos. Now, the gear I currently have for this build is not even close to being god rolled. I have a bunch of different pieces that I can get pretty big power increases once I farm up better rolled items and I'm actually pretty surprised on how strong this build turned out to be because like I said I'm able to solo challenge here 15 expeditions with gold times and on specific maps I'm actually able to beat the times that I was able to get with my god rolled anomaly power build. So on certain maps this is ridiculously strong and it's definitely a nice change up for the devastation being able to use firepower builds instead of always having to go anomaly power builds. And something else I like about this build is that it's a really versatile. I have a bunch of different variations I'm working on while also working on just getting better gear for this specific variation of it. But there are a few different changes like using different main weapons, using some different skills that I think can also give some variation to this build while also keeping it incredibly strong. So first off for our skills and our skills for this build are pretty much fully used for for utilities such as damage reduction healing and for synergies between mods and our class skill passive. So first off we have Tremor which is going to be able to proc our tier set bonus on our armor. It's also really nice as a utility skill. It gives you a massive amount of healing and it interrupts all the enemies around you which stops them doing damage to you and helps you be able to kill things a little bit quicker. Then we have Golem which also will activate our armor tier set which is a big part of this build. It gives us a massive damage reduction. Synergize with a bunch of our mods and gives us other damaging increases through our class skill passives. Then we have Boulder Dash. This is mainly used to proc one of our class skill passives and to also proc one specific mod we have in the build. Again, like I said, mainly used as a utility skill to give us damage increases from our mods or class skills. So next up, we have our class tree. I'm going to try to go through these quickly because they're mostly just basic stat increases. So we have weapon damage increase, shotgun damage increase, close range damage damage increase increases shotgun damage reduces a cooldown for connect skills which is boulder dash increases armor piercing increased weapon damage when we use our golem we have 45 percent increased weapon damage critical damage increase weapon damage increase reduces the cooldown for a boulder dash again increases close range damage increases weapon damage increases weapon leech reduces damage we take from elites and increases damage we do to elites reload 20 percent faster which really isn't used in this build increases our magazine by 50 percent enemies who damage us deal reduced damage increases increase our weapon leech and then when we use our boulder dash we gain a 70% weapon damage increase when that skill ends which is absolutely massive one of the main reasons we are using boulder dash. So next up we have our weapons and we're pretty much only using one weapon and that is going to be the bulwark. Now like I said I'm working on other variations of this build and those other variations are using different main weapons but this one is working pretty well and like I said will allow you to do challenge here 15 expeditions with gold times. And the reason we're using this is because because it comes with the mod that inflicts bleed with a one second cooldown and that synergizes with a lot of the other mods we're using and then we put killing spree on this this is one of the main mods for weapons for this build gives us a stacking 25% damage increase that stacks up three times it'll pretty much be up 100% of the time and this is where a massive chunk of our damage comes in so you'll notice your first couple kills are a little bit slower once you have this stacked up your damage will just be ridiculously high so then we have our armor pieces and for our attribute priority, we're going to be going bonus firepower, close range damage, then cooldown reduction. Now with using a tier set bonus and with this specific tier set, a lot of the items you're not going to be able to get god rolled attributes. A lot of them you're not even going to be able to get well rolled attributes, but we're using a specific tier set bonus. So you don't have to worry too much about getting god rolled attributes with this specific build. So the tier set bonus we're going to be using is for the statue set. When you use Tremor or Golem, you get 100% increased firepower and weapon leech. And if you say use Golem and then have mods or other effects that increase the duration of Golem, you will keep the bonuses of this tier set. So this is one of the big parts of this build because this gives us just that massive survivability and damage increase. So first off for our helm for the set has bonus firepower, skill life leech, code reduction, decent stats. It comes with perseverance, which increases the duration of Golem by 100%. That's a very important mod for this build to keep 
keep up Gollum much more frequently. And then the other mod I have rolled on this comes on a headpiece, and it actually comes on Tanner's hat, as you can see here, which is actually pretty easy to get if you go do the monster hunt farms that can give you legendary armor pieces. It's a generic piece, so you'll get it a lot more through that. And this increases your firepower by over 10,000 for every enemy in close range up to five times. So that's just a massive firepower increase. And with our tier set bonus and some other mods increasing percentage of our firepower, this will also be increased more as those start to stack with each other. So next up, we have our chest piece statues torso. Bonus firepower, skill life, each quit reduction, decent stats, but not the best again. This is one of the pieces that I'm definitely going to want to change. I'm going to want to get an epic piece in the slot with perfect attribute rolls, perfect mod rolls. And then most likely either get gloves or legs and change up my build a little bit when I can get some better rolls in that because the first mod for this is Tremor gives your allies a 40% weapon damage bonus for 8 seconds. Now I'm pretty certain that this doesn't actually work for yourself. It only works for your allies which is pretty much just a dead mod slot which is another reason that I want to get a different piece in the slot. Now I have a sharp eye roll on this which comes from another legendary helmet. I forget which one. And this gives us a stacking firepower buff when killing enemies while aiming down sights. Last 20 seconds sacked up to three times. It'll pretty much be up 100% of the time once you kill a few enemies. And this is just another massive firepower increase. And like I said, these are giving just a base firepower increase, so not a percentage. And then that's just going to be increasing more as it stacks together with our percentage firepower increases. Next up, we have our death proof leg armor. Now, the main reason I'm using these is because the stat rolls are decent. Bonus firepower, close range damage, healing received decent but not god rolled and then the tier 3 mod on this is another big reason we're using boulder dash now i could get a decent upgrade for this by getting an epic piece that has bloodless on it which i have rolled on it then i can roll my tier 3 mod for boulder dash onto that and we can get a much better rolled epic piece and still have both our mods like i said most of this build isn't actually god rolled armor pieces but still incredibly strong so the tier 3 for this is every enemy damage by boulder dash increase your weapon damage by 15 percent for 10 seconds stacks up to five times. So this is a big reason we're using boulder dash. And this is also another reason why cooldown reduction is really important for this because we want a boulder dash to get to the lowest possible cooldown we can get it. And ideally we want boulder dash to be at a 10 second cooldown because then we'll be able to have this tier three mod up 100% of the time. And we'll also be able to have our altered charge here, which gives us 70% weapon damage increase for 10 seconds. We'll be able to have that up 100% of the time. Now my boulder dash is currently at 12 point five seconds and i'll easily be able to get that if i get one or two upgrades and then i fully increase my stats on all of my items and fully upgrade the quote on reduction attributes on them so i'm not too far away from that but that's what you want to try to be going for then i have bloodlust rolled on this which killing shots increase our firepower by 17,000 sex up three times will be up a majority of the time for just a massive firepower increase next up we have our gloves bonus firepower close range damage quote on reduction god rolled attributes but the first mod on this is something I think I could get a decent increase if I can get a item with a better mod. This first mod still gives us a decent buff for our build, but I think I could get better. The first mod just increased our boulder dash by a little over 100,000 damage. So a decent AoE damage increase, but I think I could get a better damage increase from going with another firepower build. Then the second mod for this is our ammo regen, which is vampiric mag. Killing shots on enemies afflicted with bleed replenish 50% of the ammo in your magazine. Now this is one of the most important mods for the build. Synergy with our bulwark the main reason we're using bulwark because pretty much any enemy we shoot is going to now have bleed on them pretty much any enemy we kill is then going to give us 50 percent of our magazine back if you want to use some of the mod glitches that are currently in the game you can do that with vampiric mag i've gone over them in previous videos if you want to check those out in more detail but essentially what you can do we have vampiric mag on this item then you can just roll to a different mod so say i roll tainted blood here which increases the damage we deal to bleeding enemies by 25%. And now we're getting the effects and power from Tainted Blood. And we're also getting the effects from Vampiric Mag. We'll be getting the effects of both of them. And the only time this glitch deactivates and stops giving us the effects of Vampiric Mag is if we die or go to the main menu. And you can just come back here, reapply Vampiric Mag, and reapply Tainted Blood or whatever other mod you want, and have the glitch activated again. Now that's if you want to use a glitch. If not, you can just keep Vampiric Mag on the item and you'll just lose this 25% weapon damage increase. Now with some of the times I'm getting on the expeditions I'm farming, this 25% is not going to make or break me getting a gold time. So 
if you want to use a glitch, go ahead and use it. It's going to make you a bit stronger. If you don't want to use a glitch, it shouldn't stop you from getting gold times. So finally, we have our boots, statues, feet, max health, close range damage, cooldown reduction, decent rolls, but no firepower on it. And our first mod rolled onto this is Golem of Death. When our Golem is active, killing enemies increases its duration by two seconds. Now you can keep Golem up for a long period of time with this mod. It will keep the firepower and weapon leech bonus from a tier set bonus the entire time this is active, no matter how long you increase the duration by killing enemies. And then the other mod is Bleeding Impulse. When your Golem is active, every two seconds you inflict bleed to all enemies in a 10 meter radius. Now this helps to make sure we have bleed on everything, deal some extra damage, make sure any enemy we kill is going to be bleeding for our ammo regen. And then if you're also using the Tainted Blood mod, we'll also make sure we're doing that increased damage by bleeding. Now with this variation of the build, having Bulwark, having the tier 3 bleed mod, we really don't need that. But if I were going to have all the god roll pieces for this specific variation of the build with Bulwark, we most likely would still be using these boots and just having Bleeding Impulse as a less powerful mod, but we would most likely get rid of our statue's torso, get an epic one, and probably use statue's legs. So that is the entirety of this firepower devastator build. And like you'll see in some of the footage, you can get this over 1.2 million firepower at certain points. And like I said, I have a bunch of different armor pieces and a bunch of different rolls to get to get god rolled armor piece rolls. So it's going to get much stronger. And I'm working out a bunch of variations that are similar, but use different weapons or different armor combinations. Now the overall play style of this build is going to be to keep Golem up as much as you possibly can. Use Tremor pretty much whenever it's off cooldown. You can save it a little bit to be used as a heal when you need it. And then use Boulder Dash on cooldown and try to hit as many enemies with Boulder Dash as you can to get those weapon damage increases from our mod. And then past that, you're just going to be trying to get as close to every enemy you're shooting as you possibly can. Always go for headshots. Criticals are going to be a massive damage increase and just pretty much spray bullets out of our bulwark fully automatic shotgun just spray bullets in the face of all enemies at close range while doing massive damage keeping yourself alive by your weapon leech and the utility of your skills so subscribe if you want to see more eye riders or other videos leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys think about this build and thanks for watching
Damn it. More of them. Missing is some elevator music. Shira, about those energy spikes? The insurgents had a functioning power cell down here. What did you do with it? It's disabled. I'll see if Zahidi can't take a look at it. Access and it's found a pod down here. You saved some lives today, Outrider. I would expect nothing less from you. <laughs> <laughs> 